Bom dia everyone. So, this is my buddy Carl. And these are his whoops and micros that he has problems with, which are SPI receivers. This is the Mobitel 6. This is the Mobila 7. This is the Mobila 8 analog. And this is the Crux 35 HD. Now all these quads have one thing in common and that is the one hex file that binds them all together. Now about 10 months ago I made this video about the Express LRS V3.0 update for SPI receivers but lately I've seen videos about uh, people having problems with their quads like um, RX loss issues and inability to bind the radio to the drone. I do recommend that you fly your happy model drone as is and do not update the firmware to better flight 4.4 as majority of the time those who have done so have experienced this um, RX loss issues so just stick to the original firmware that came with the drone unless of course you're updating the V3 and V2 ELRS then here's what you need to do so first up we will go to the radio and do download the Express LRS configurator and use the latest version and from there just choose the specific Express LRS module that you're using or perhaps the Express LRS radio that you're using and get it updated to the latest version which is v3.3.0 then you'll want to download the Lua script and copy that file into your radio so next we'll plug in our quad doesn't matter what quad as long as it is an SPI receiver from happy model You'll want to download the hex file first and put it in your computer somewhere where it's easy to access. Then go to CLI and type BL to put your flight controller in bootloader mode, which is DFU mode. Then use that hex file by clicking flash local and click flash receiver. And after flashing, you want to calibrate accelerometer. That will be the first step on better flight. then look for the specific dump file for the specific quad that you're using if it's a Mobula 7 then you want a Mobula 7 dump file if it's a Crux 35 HD then you want to use the Crux 35 HD dump file in this sense we'll be using the Mobula 7 1S and I'm going to copy the files and paste it into the CLI on Betaflight then just check through all the tabs, make, making sure that the modes are all set up and everything is alright. Then the next thing we want to do is to check the ESCs. I would recommend using uh, BlueJ for the Mobila 7 and Mobital 6 and Mo Mobila 6 as well as the Mobila 8. So you want to go to esc-configurator.com and flash the BlueJ firmware. Just check that all the motors are switched to reverse and we're going to choose the latest firmware, the latest version and flash all ESCs. This will take a while and then the next thing we're going to do is to increase your minimum throttle to 11.05 and bring up the maximum startup power protection to 12.16. Right, so now that the ESC is configured, let's check onto Betaflight the motors tab. So here you want to see the direction of the motors and see if the motors are spinning in the right direction. Make sure that the props are clicked as reverse and what you want to do is check every individual motors. You want to plug in your LiPo first before clicking on the motors. See if the direction are all correct, they are all props out. If they are wrong then what you want to do is change the motor directions on better flight by clicking the motor directions link and adjust the direction of the motors all you need to do is click once and it will switch direction and save then check the motors again and if it's all good then let's move on to the next step and the next step we're going to go to the receiver tab and over here what we're going to do is check that the receiver is under SPI RX which is your built-in receivers 
and of course change it to Express LRS. So once that is done, you want to go to your radio and open up the Lua script for the Express LRS. Over here we have the radio set at 500 Hz. Generally, most Happy Model flight controllers are all set to 500 Hz, but if a slight chance that it isn't, you might want to change it to 250 and test it out or set them both to 500 to make it a lot easier. So once that's done, you scroll down and click bind. Then we move back to Better Flight Receiver tab and over here, we'll click bind receiver. It'll take a few seconds before there's, there's any stick movements and if your quad is spinning like mine, it is a high chance that the AETR and TAER are reversed. So just switch to the correct one that you're using with your radio and you should be good to go. So final test is when you arm your quad and just make sure that everything is moving fine and when you unplug, it should say Alright, so I hope the video helps you with whatever issues that you have on the binding and RX loss issues. So if you do have any problems or any questions, please feel free to join us on Discord or comment down below. Till then, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao!